In this problem, we need to find the expected value of x. And then, uh, based on the result from last time, you can expect that uh, the answer is not going to look nice because this uh, we're going to have to use this result over here. So the expected value of x, so I've written out the formula, it's essentially just x multiplied by the probability density function, which, as we found last time, is equal to this thing over here, which is does not look nice. So if we we're going to solve this integral, we're going to have to solve these three separate integrals here, which are, which are pretty tedious, and that's going to be the focus of this problem. So you see that the first integral corresponds to this term, second integral corresponds to this, third integral corresponds to this. So let's try to solve these two first, because they look kind of similar. It's x times a sine squared term. So let's solve for the general case, kx. So this is going to apply for both these. So k is going to be power over a, k is going to be 2 power over a. So we're going to use uh, integration by parts. So we're going to have to find the integral of sine squared kx first. So let's try to find that. And then as, as always, if you are trying to solve for a sine squared integral, we just use the double angle formula. So this integral becomes 1 minus cosine 2kx divided by 2 dx. So this is equal to x over 2 minus sine 2kx over 4k plus c. So going back here, we have x, we integrate this, so we get x over 2 minus sine 2kx over 4k, and then goes from 0 to a. And then now we retain this term and then we differentiate this, so we get x over 2 minus sine 2kx over 4k dx. So uh, substituting the numbers in, you'll see that over here you get a squared over 4. So we get a squared over 4. And then we minus a sine 2ka over 4k. And then if you substitute 0 in, you see that this whole thing is just going to be equal to 0. Because there's going to be a 0 at the front. So we can just ignore that. And integrating this, we get x squared over 4 plus cosine 2kx over 8k squared. So uh, there's going to be a plus because if you integrate sine, you get a negative cosine. So substituting the numbers in, we get uh, something that looks like this. So substituting a into this expression, we get a squared over 4 plus cosine 2ka over 8k squared. And then for 0, this is just going to be 0. Cosine 0 is going to be 1, so we get a minus 1 8k squared. So you see that these two conveniently, they can combine together. So essentially we're done here. We have the answer that we're looking for. So uh, this could be minus. So now let's substitute uh, uh, the numbers in so we can get these two cases over here. So for the first case it's k over k is equal to pi over a. So case one k is equal to pi over a. And the integral I'm going to call that i. So the integral is equal to a squared over 4. If you substitute pi over a here you get uh, 2 pi. So sine 2 pi is just 0 so that term goes away. And here we get uh, if you substitute uh, pi over a to k you get cosine 2 pi which is equal to 1, so you get min minus 1 over 8k squared, and then you have your default plus 1 over 8k squared, so obviously these cancel out, so we get a squared over 4. And if you do the same thing for 2 pi over a, you'll find something very similar. So you get a squared over 4, this just becomes 0, this just becomes minus 1 over 8k squared, and then this cancels out with this. So in the end, it turns out both of these integrals are, are identical. You get a squared over 4. So both of these are equal to a squared over 4. So the next task that's remaining is to evaluate this, which is going to be slightly more tedious. So the integral is 0 to ax sine pi over ax. So instead of pi over a, let's just use k instead. kx, so just to save some time from writing too many symbols. So 2kx dx. Because the uh, other, the second term here is 2 pi over a, so 2k. So this is just a shorthand for to save some time. 
and then uh, it, in order to solve this we're going to have to use the uh, product to sum formula and uh, you're going to have to look this up because that's what I did I can never remember these formulas but if you look them up you see that sine a times sine b is equal to one half cosine a minus b minus cosine a plus b so we're going to use this result directly so sine kx times sine 2kx this becomes one half times cosine a minus b so kx minus 2kx that's just equal to negative kx and then because for cosine it doesn't matter if you have a negative sign so we can just take that away and then minus cosine a plus b so cosine 3kx dx so now we're going to do integration by parts we're going to integrate this component first over x integrating we get sine kx divided by k minus sine 3kx divided by 3k uh, 0 to a and then we minus another integral and then we're going to differentiate this which just becomes 1 and then we retain that expression on the inside so uh, moving on uh, substitute, substituting a into the, this expression here we get a sine ka divided by k minus sine 3ka divided by 3k and then minus uh, this whole integral here, I'm not going to write it out, so minus, minus i and then for 0 it's quite obvious the whole thing is going to be equal to 0 and then uh, take note that k is equal to pi over a, right? so oh, this is just sine pi, uh, sine pi, which is equal to 0 this is sine 3 pi, so it's going to be equal to 0 as well so I kind of wasted my effort here of writing this out, so this whole thing just becomes 0 so all we're going to be concerned with is this integral over here. So uh, that's because of this reason, this whole thing is zero. So moving on, this just uh, degenerates into uh, into this uh, integral over here. Three k x divided by three k, and then sine k x divided by k. And then uh, integrating this, we get negative cosine 3kx divided by another 3k, so 9k squared, plus cosine kx divided by k squared. So substituting a, we get negative cosine 3k a divided by 9k squared, plus cosine k a divided by k squared. And then minus substituting 0, it just becomes 1, so minus 1k. 9k squared plus 1 over k squared and then once again remind ourselves that k is equal to pi over a so this becomes 3 pi this becomes pi cosine 3 pi and cosine pi are both equal to negative 1 so we get 1 over 9k squared minus 1 over k squared and here we get plus 1 over 9k squared minus 1 over k squared so if you combine all these terms uh, you'll see that this is, this is actually equal to negative 8 over 9k squared and then substituting back our k into the expression, we get 8a squared divided by 9 pi squared. So this is the answer for our for our third integral over here. So this thing over here is equal to negative 8a squared divided by 9 pi squared. So after all that, we found our three integrals. So now we can finally get back to the physics, and we know we now know what this is going to be equal to. So uh, Observing this over here, if you do the integration, you're going to have a 1 over a on the outside. Integrating this, this becomes a squared over 4. And then you have another a squared over 4. And then you have a 2 times uh, this negative 8 a squared over 9 pi squared. And then don't forget the cosine 3 omega t. So I can simplify this a little bit. And then uh, the 8 becomes a 16. These two combine together it becomes a over 2. So in the end, I get a over 2 minus 16a divided by 9 pi squared cosine 3 omega t. So a better way to write this is to pull out the a over 2. And 1 minus 32 9 pi squared 
cosine uh, 3 omega t. So recall what omega is, if you've forgotten. So omega is a constant that we just uh, defined. It's just uh, we just group these constants together and call it omega, just to save us some time from writing the constants out. So uh, this is the answer. And you see that it's actually kind of like a harmonic oscillator. So the expected value, so there's going to be a central a over two point over so a over two point over here, and then this cosine term is going to make the expected value shift back and forth. So this is essentially what uh, the answer is.